The 2-5 and five Loper football team welcomed in the 5-2 and two Griffins of Missouri Western on Saturday. The Lopers are trying to get back on track on the heels of two straight losses. We picked things up in the second quarter with the score 7-7. Loper quarterback T.J. Davis would have eight tacklers and launched a 48-yard touchdown pass to receiver Reggie Anderson. The extra point was successful to make it 14-7 Lopers. Then, before the half, Missouri Western would attempt a 30-yard field goal, but UNK's Tell Spees would break through and block the attempt, sending the Lopers into halftime with a 14-7 advantage. In the third quarter, the Lopers would tack on a 46-yard field goal from Kyle Failing to make it 17-7. This would be the last time the Lopers would score, however, as in the fourth quarter, Missouri Western would drive down to the UNK 14-yard line, and quarterback Armani Eden would find Jake Barry on a corner route in the back of the end zone for a touchdown strike. UNK still led it 17-14. Later in the quarter, kicker Cody Watson connected on a 34-yard field goal to tie up the game at 17 apiece. UNK would respond with a drive that would take them down to the Missouri Western 31-yard line, but on fourth down, UNK elected to punt it. Missouri Western would fumble early in the next drive, but the call on the field was controversially overturned after a challenge by Missouri Western. So the Griffins would maintain possession and would get this powerful 21-yard carry from running back Seth Cromwell to set up the 31-yard game-winning field goal. Watson would convert for the Griffins as time expired, handing the Lopers their third straight loss. After the game, Coach Held said he appreciated the way his team has continued to play during this skid. Trying to get right, and you go out there and you lose on a last second field goal, um, those are hard. We need to win that game. That's a game we need to win. Uh, we gave ourselves a chance to win, but then again we didn't because we had those three or four plays. And uh, we just have to continue to educate our guys on situational football. The Lopers fall to two and six and are back in action on the road against Emporia State on Saturday at 2 p.m. For the Antelope's Loper Report, I'm Trayton Harmon.